Hey what's up guys, in this video we'll create some background elements for our illustration. So when you create a scene, you'll need to add some background elements like some trees or clouds in your scene. So we'll see how to create just that in this video. So we'll just get started. So for the trees, we'll create a polygon. We'll right click and flatten it to reduce the size of the bounding box, add a rectangle, fill the color and we have a tree. We'll change the shape and size of the triangle to get different variations of the trees. We can also try it with a circle and ellipse to get different variations of the trees. You can add groups of circles or ellipses to get different variations of the circular trees. We'll see how to do it in just a minute. For the first set of clouds, we'll add some circles, group them together and just add color. Duplicate them and send it to background or just keep it in the front and change color to create a 3D or depth effect. And we have our first set of clouds. For the second type, what you can do is add some circles, add a rectangle in between and just union them together or group them together and color them the same and then you have your second type of cloud. For the third part, create a rectangle, duplicate it using ALT plus left click and drag and duplicate some more parts of it. Select them all and union them together. Add some roundness to it and we have our third set of clouds. You can use this and create a different variation using different lengths of it as you can see here.
so here we have our background elements which you can add to a scene after you have created like we have created the background scene in the video we created last time which you can see in the card link above thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one